In this video, we'll discuss logical operators in business rules. And also, we'll try to set a field value with business rules. And we'll write some or we'll compare some fields and we'll show the error messages if something like, uh, you know, start date is greater than end date. Like that, uh, we can compare the fields and we can also show the error messages. So for that, I'm going back to the solution. So here we have a form inside the solution. So in this, we have start date and contract end date. If, uh, if somebody enters a end date is less than start date, then we can show error messages here. So for that, I'm going back to business rules. Inside business rules, from here we can able to create, or if you select any of the field, and from here also you can able to create the business rules. I'm clicking this new business rule option. It will open another window. Here we have a condition. Inside this one, uh, we can see some of the options in the properties, which is a display name. And if you want to give a con name to the condition, you can give. And also you can write the rules here. So for that, we have a couple of options. The source is entity, so which is a table. And the field is approver, it is showing, but we can able to change. And uh, the field is, I am taking contract end date, or you can take contract start date. and contract start date is greater than so here we have type so uh, i can take a value or i can take a field so if i if i want to write some value uh, so i can take a value and it will show a calendar here if you click you can see the calendar if i click this one and then if i change back to field i can able to see the value here which is a field a contract end date and it only shows the date related uh, fields only because we are trying to compare with the date so that's why it is showing few fields those are date data type i am taking the contract end date if start date is greater than end date so i'll apply this one now we can able to see here in the text start date greater than contract end date now i'm going back to components inside the components I'll put a error message here, show error message. Select this one. So inside this properties, you can able to see error message and where you want to show the error message. Now I want to show this one in the contract end date. Now here I'm typing the message start date should not greater than end date okay. and I'm clicking apply now you can able to see here once it is applied it will show here so start date greater than contract end date then show the error message start date should not greater than end date and which is again is the field contract date save it So here we have name and you want to change this one you can and just change into error message description is optional I'm saving this one I hope we don't have any errors so if you want to validate you can click this one and click activate the validation is successful you can able to see the message here and uh, this is a confirmation message okay we are done with this one and it is already activated if you go back here click done and click save and publish so which is done refresh your solution page select your application and then click play I'm going to new form again so here contract end date and which is a start date now I'm taking start date as 15 now when I select this one I can able to see a message contract end dates 
contact end date which is this one start date should not greater than the end date i'm taking 17 now there is no error i'm changing this back to 8 which is contract end date is 8 and the start date is 15. now you can able to see the error message now if you change to 24 the error message is gone so this way you can able to compare two fields and if you want to show error message or you want to do some other action you can able to do but uh, so for this one uh, error is better so i'm just showing that error message so this business rule uh, we are done and we'll try to implement uh, another business rule is something for example the cost estimate is null so if the if this field does not contain any data i want to hide this contract category so contract category i have given three choices one is low and another one is medium another one is high so we'll do that one also first we'll try to show and hide this one so for that i'll create another business rule to create a business rule here we have option i'm clicking this one again it will open another business rule window so here the condition is inside this table i'm taking a field as cost estimate this one so if it does not contain any data does not contain data so uh, what i want to do is i want to hide cost i want to hide that uh, category field so if we come back here we have contract category i want to hide this field so for that I'm going to components inside component we can able to see the set visibility option i'm taking this one and i'm dropping here in the true side here i'm selecting this and the contract category and here the visibility is no and again i'm going back to i'm applying this one and i'm going back to components and uh, i'm taking the set visibility here if if this this is if this condition is not true so then i want to show that one so contact category and uh, make it yes and then apply so the cost estimate does not contain data and here we have taken hide field contact category and then show field contact category else in the else section we have taken this one and here i'm taking this one is show or hide save this business rule and then if you want to validate you can and then click activate and now come back to this play mode you can refresh this one i'm trying once again okay now see the cost estimate is here but we don't see that the contract category for example if i enter something like 12 and if you come outside now you can able to see the contract category so we have options like low medium and high so what i want to implement is here i have a cost estimate if the cost estimate is between 0 to 100 and i want to make this one as low and if which is 100 to 500 i want to make that as an a medium and if it is more than 500 i want to make that as an a high so for that we'll implement another business rule I'll, i'm closing this business rule and i'll implement a new business rule here in this one we'll try to use that uh, logical operators before that i'm giving a name as category business rule i'm just giving category br so here in the condition if you go here we can able to see the field uh, the field is um, the cost estimate here we have an other operators as well we have equals to and we have greater than and also we have greater than or equal to so i'll take this one greater than or equal to i'm taking a value as zero now here i want to add operator now i have added another rule here rule two 
again entity entity and then field is cost estimate and then the value before value the uh, before value I'm taking this operator which is less than 100 I'm not taking less than or equal to I'm taking less than 100 and here the rule logic is and if you click you can able to see R as well so if you use and and it will check in between this like 0 to 100 I'm not taking R condition we'll discuss that R condition later I'm just clicking apply so the cost estimate is greater than or equal to 0 and the cost estimate less than 100 now I'll go to the components in this components now we have an option called set field value I'll take this one here now here the field value I'm taking this contract category so now you can able to see the value low I'm selecting this if it is 0 to 100 I want to keep as low and then apply now go back to the components now here we have again uh, again what I want to do is now if this statement the condition is between 0 to 100 now if I want to compare 100 to 500 and we can able to take another condition here in this condition again we'll use same field which is cost estimate and uh, which is greater than or equal to 100 and then we'll add one more condition here which is again the field is cost estimate and uh, the operator would be less than and the value is 500 and again you can able to see rule logic is end select apply now you can able to see and go back to the components and use this set field value now take this one here here the field is contract category now which is in the medium now again in the no side I'll go to components I'll take one more condition here in this condition again we are taking cost estimate and which is greater than or equal to I'm taking 500 and uh, I'm not taking any another rule I'm we are not going to use any logical operator here now we'll go to com components in the right side I'm setting up a field value now here I'll take this contact category and I'm making this high and then apply Okay, once it is applied you can able to see this we have low and we have something we missed out and 100 and less than here in this we missed it out the set field value is contract category and which is medium and apply and now come back and check we have set category is low set category is medium and then contract to high and we can directly set up uh, you know without that also we can able to directly set up the set value and uh, which comes into an else part and if you want to you know uh, set anything you can able to set here in the else part now we, we are in all conditions which is like in all else if and if you want to add anything in the else you can able to add here I'm saving this business rule and there is some error in this condition uh, I think we are not applied the field is cost estimate and which is greater than 500 and then apply now try to validate this one now validation most probably it is successful and then save this one and uh, once it is saved activate click activate in the confirmation box okay we are done come back here try to refresh this application
now the cost estimate i'm just giving 12 will come outside now you can able to see the contract category is low now i'm changing this one to 129 if you come out you can see it which is medium i'm making which is 1239 if you come out you can able to see high so this way you can able to show error message when you compare the fields and also based on the value you can hide or show the fields and also based on some values uh, which is entered into any of the field you can able to set the field value in the another field as well now based on this this is automatically changing even we can able to make this as read only so for that also if you go to the uh, farm for example you don't want to enter anything here you can make this as read only so once you make this as a read only you can able to see the lock symbol next time when it opens an end user cannot able to modify this one if you want to check that you can able to check go back to save and publish and now which is saved and published if you go back to this application and reload this page now i'm entering data here like 56 if i come outside now this one is in low and uh, you can able to see this lock symbol and if you click here you cannot able to do anything on it the same way for example if i am modifying the data here this automatically changed now it is in read only mode and this only changes based on this co cost estimate only other than that the end user cannot able to modify anything on this field so we have other things also in the business rules now we have uh, recommendations and we have set default value as well that we'll discuss in the next video.